Hey, this is Buzz signing in with episode number 32 of Airwaves. In this episode, I'm going to be reviewing this antenna that I purchased on eBay. It's a SMA male 144 430 MHz magnetic mount car antenna. I'll run it through some tests. That's coming up next on Airwaves. Okay, we've moved outdoors here. I've got the camera aimed at the magnetic mount antenna, the dual band, 2 meter and 70 centimeter. Um, this antenna was designed to be used with an HT with an SMA uh, jack on it. And uh, it's a very windy day. This vehicle, by the way, it's, it's a 2005 Honda Pilot. This is my backup vehicle. Uh, my main vehicle is a Ford F-150 and I have a dual band uh, 2 meter 70 centimeter radio in it along with the CB. I don't have any radio in this car and that's why I thought uh, just as a temporary fix I'd uh, check out this little antenna and use it with my Yaesu VX6 HT which that's what this antenna is designed to be used with with an HT uh, thus the SMA connector. And it was only ten dollars and fifty cents, uh, including shipping off of eBay. So I thought, you know, what have I got to lose? So this morning I decided to take it for a little test drive, and it's a very, very windy day. Uh, winds coming out of the north, and I drove about, um, I guess, four or five miles south to pick up some breakfast and then started driving the same route back. And uh, as I was driving back, I was facing into the wind and I was going 45 miles per hour all of a sudden the antenna blew off uh, fortunately the the coax cable there uh, kept it from from getting away from the vehicle as you can see I've just got the uh, coax running through uh, the crack in the door there which is has that uh, vinyl uh, rubber type lining in there so it's not pinched in any way and uh, pulled over and uh, just took it off, put it back in the car. So what I will say for sure is this is not rated for highway use. Uh, you know, 45 miles an hour plus I was headed into the wind, which was blowing pretty hard. So I would say it was at least uh, probably uh, equivalent to a 55 mile per hour uh, wind if you were going down the highway. Um, I would say anything more than that you're gonna it's gonna blow off for sure but for just driving around town uh, when it's not a real windy day I, I think it, you'd be all right I definitely wouldn't suggest using it for highway use though so uh, as you can see here it's uh, stuck to the, to the fender and running through the door and I'll move inside here in a little bit and uh, give you an idea of how it performs I will say I did hook this up to my uh, VNA, Nano VNA Vector Network Analyzer and uh, got some interesting results which I'll share with you a little bit later on in the video. Okay, I'm in the car now. I've got my Yaesu VX6 HT and as you can see I've screwed the SMA connector, taken the uh, rubber ducky antenna off the radio, screwed the SMA a connector to the magnetic mount antenna onto the radio and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through several local repeaters keep in mind I live in a mountainous region and uh, the repeaters here are all up on pretty high peaks so um, even if they're pretty far off you can usually get into most of the repeaters here in the area of course with a uh, with a a, a base station or your mobile unit and even with HTs if you're outside the vehicle standing in the yard a lot of these I can normally get into with a rubber ducky but there are there were some surprising results I'll also tell you that before I did this uh, video I had a QSO um, on a local two meter repeater with two other friends and a, 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 another person uh, broke into conversation, so we had uh, four people in there uh, speaking at one time, and uh, 
the you know the radio worked well this uh, repeater is not that far away and it, it's on a pretty good high peak so that's no, no surprise but um, I heard everybody clearly everybody said that my audio was good I am using uh, this hand mic and I'm not going to be having any QSOs on this video but uh, what I will tell you though is that during the conversation I noticed the radio was getting warmer and warmer and warmer and we were probably talking back and forth between uh, three of us consistently um, for close to half an hour and it got to the point where it was so warm that I said I think I better uh, jump off here because I don't want to risk damaging my radio so that tells me that um, you know there's there's definitely some uh, standing wave I think issues with the antenna on the two meter band and as I mentioned to you I uh, hooked this antenna up to my nano VNA uh, vector um, network analyzer and um, here are the results I'll just read them to you um, I checked of course for the uh, 2 meter and 70 centimeter uh, bands because that's what this antenna is advertised as being for the lowest SWR in the 2 meter range was 145.254 megahertz and it was a 2.87 SWR so you know not too great but not uh, unexpected for this uh, short antenna which by the way it's 16.5 inches in total length and of course it has those two coil windings uh, where the antenna is just uh, is coiled up and then in the um, 70 centimeter range um, the lowest SWR was at 438.600 and that was 1.839 now I was really surprised though because I checked uh, I, I did a uh, SWR test across um, a wide range of frequencies just to see what it uh, what it said the antenna is actually most resonant at 1.29 gigahertz where it has it had a very good 1.047 SWR now that's the 23 centimeter ham band and I don't have any radios uh, that operate at that frequency so I'm not able to test it but uh, that tells me this antenna may actually be more suited um, for the 23 centimeter band than it is the advertised uh, 2 meter and 70 uh, centimeter now the 2 meter was, was really pretty poor 2.87 SWR it was better in the uh, uh, 70 centimeter where it was 1.839 at 438.6 so anyway um, just to give you an idea uh, this is uh, this is probably the low the um, closest two meter uh, repeater that's uh, to my uh, QTH so I'll just uh, give it a curt chunk here yeah, and I don't know if you can see it on the uh, screen there but that was full scale what did surprise me is um, let's see now this is a 220 megahertz um, repeater and this radio by the way uh, was not hardly resonant at all on 220 according to the uh, VNA and uh, but well I don't seem to be getting into that one now. Now earlier today I did get into that unless I'm maybe confusing it with this one. It's probably this one here. This is uh, actually on Mount Pisgah uh, which Mount Pisgah is the second highest peak in uh, the United States east of the Mississippi. It's uh, 5,000 something feet above sea level. yeah so that was the one I was able to get into pretty easily um, at Mount Pisgah as the crow flies is probably uh, I don't know 30 miles from here so not surprising that I could get into there and it was about three-quarter scale uh, there on the S meter here's another 220 let's see no did not get into that another 220 
Nope. Okay. Now there's a, uh, that was a 440 uh, 70 centimeter repeater. I was able to get into that. Uh, that again, though, is fairly close. Uh, here's another 440. Now, this is about 20 miles away. So, yeah, no problem getting into there. Um, now this is a two meter repeater in that same uh, location. Let's see how it does with that. Now see, not getting into the two meter and that's at the same location that the 440 was. And that's because this antenna is more uh, resonant at that frequency. Okay, now there's a two meter repeater, kind of noisy. And that was one I tried on 220 a little while ago, was not able to get into it. Let's see here. This is the Mount Mitchell repeater. Uh, now, Mount Mitchell is the highest peak east of the Mississippi. It's a little over 6,000 feet above sea level. This is a uh, 440 repeater here. Let's see what we can do. Nope, did not get into that. Let's see. Got a lot of frequencies in this radio. Now here's Mount Mitchell uh, 220. Let's see how that does. No, I did not get into that. Seemed like I got into, maybe it was the 2 meter Mount Mitchell when I tried earlier. Zero, zero, local. That's actually the... Um, I'm sorry, this information. Echo 14540, wind 160 at 7, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 12.2 at altimeter 3026. This approach, runway 17 ish that was actually the approach uh, frequency for the local airport with the tower and that but that's only like three miles away yeah, we got all the GMRS FRS stuff in here uh, MERS now six meter I also tried of course this is not designed for six meter at all but uh, we have a six meter uh, repeater that is uh, very very close no not getting into that okay that time I did get into it that was uh, Mount Mitchell uh, 220 repeater Again, uh, that's a long ways from here, but it is the highest peak east of the Mississippi. So, considering, you know, that the antenna wasn't really designed for that, um, it's good that I was able to get into it at least. So, um, in the opening s uh, snapshot uh, for this video, I asked the question, is this antenna a jewel or is it junk? And I'm going to leave that final decision up to you but uh, what I will tell you is again uh, you know the magnet mount on the antenna is very small and uh, it's not uh, it's not going to stay on your vehicle if you're at highway speeds around town you'll probably be all right um, the advertised frequencies that it's supposed to operate on two meter and 70 centimeter um, uh, the SWR was not that great according to the nano VNA it was better on 70 centimeters where it was about 1.8 SWR than it, than it was at uh, um, 2 meter where it was close it was like 2.8 something and it but it was most resonant at 1.29 gigahertz which is not even advertised to be used for so 
Maybe uh, one of you out there might want to experiment with it if you're using the 23 centimeter band. Again, I don't have a radio that operates at that frequency, but uh, it might actually be better suited for that than its uh, advertised frequencies. So uh, there you have it. It's the um, SMA uh, mobile antenna, magnetic mount antenna made for a vehicle. I would say, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, maybe it's something to carry in your vehicle for an emergency. If you're just not able to get it into a repeater with your rubber ducky on your uh, HT, uh, you know, you could stick that, slap that on a car and give it a shot and uh, maybe you'll be able to get out a little bit uh, better. My main concern though was as I said I had a, about a 30 minute QSO with some friends and the radio was getting really pretty hot. So that had definitely gave me some concerns. So this has been episode number 32 of Airwaves. I hope that you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like and share the video and I'll see you down the dial.